Wonderful good day, ladies and gentlemen, to the mining news on Commodity TV. Today with Whistler Silver, Aztec Minerals, Copper Mountain Mining and Maple Gold Mines. Whistler Silver announced additional results from 21 new drill holes from the Napoleon Wien resource area at the Panuco Silver Gold Project in Mexico. Drilling has defined a high-grade precious metal-rich footprint at Napoleon that is approximately 1,000 meters long and 400 meters deep on average, with an average true width of nearly 4 meters. Based on the 106 drill holes completed to date, it shows an uncut, undiluted, weighted average grade of 4. 153 grams silver equivalent, consisting of 148 grams silver, 2.9 grams gold per ton, 0.46% lead, and 1.44% zinc. The larger Napoleon Wien resource area, including the higher grade footprint, now measures approximately 1,820 meters in length at an average depths of approximately 300 meters and an average true width of nearly 3.4 meters. Based on a total of 159 drill holes, this has an uncut, undiluted weighted average grade of 421 grams silver equivalent. These are all excellent grades and demonstrate the high quality of Wisla Silver's deposits. A new resource estimate is expected in Q1 2022, and we think this will be very good and, then, and can then be used as a basis for mine planning with production starting in the next two years. We see price targets of 10 Canadian dollars per share for Whistler Silver then. Aztec Minerals is also interesting. They just announced with their joint venture partner Kutenay Silver that RC drilling has just started on the Cervantes Porphyr gold copper concession in Mexico. The joint venture plans to drill 22 holes over 5,000 meters over the next three months to test four main targets. At the California target, where Aztec previously discovered extensive oxide gold copper porphyry mineralization with drill intercepts of up to 0.77 grams gold per ton over 160 meters, the joint venture will drill 14 infill and step out holes at 50 meter intervals to expand and better define the mineralized area, followed by two 500 meter deep holes to test the depth extent of the strong chargeability IP anomaly. On California North, one hole will test the coincident chargeability IP anomaly and the gold copper molybdenum soil geochemical anomaly. On Jasper, one hole will test the outcrop of copper mineralization and the copper molybdenum soil anomaly and at the Purisima. East target, six holes will test the high-grade gold mineralization in the glory hole workings, the coincident chargeability IP anomaly and the gold copper molybdenum soil anomaly in the breccia along the margin of the Brecciatic QFP intrusive complex. Quite a lot going on at Aztec Minerals and we are excited. There will there were finally results from Aztec's Tombstone project in Arizona from the Phase 1 program of 23 drill holes over 2,700 meters. Each of the 23 holes intersected near-surface oxidized gold-silver mineralization of significant widths. 13 holes intersected old tunnels where the highest grade ores are believed to have been mined. Several holes encountered visible gold and all holes terminated in mineralization, indicating that the main mineralized zones remain open at depths as well as laterally. For example, the respective sub-intercepts returned 1.8 grams gold per ton with nearly 37 grams silver over 70 meters. In another intercept, hole TR2110 returned 1.4 grams gold almost and 56 grams silver per ton over 96 meters. These are great results but are not reflected in the stock price at all. Copper Mountain Mining announced updated economic data, including capital and operating costs for the EVA Copper Project in Queensland in Australia. All other technical aspects of EVA, including mining, processing, production, schedule, and mineral reserves and mineral resources, remain unchanged from the NI43101 technical report for the EVA Copper Project. The economics of the project have improved significantly. Although project costs have increased due to inflation, this should normalize somewhat over the next 18 months. The target is now to bring the EVA mine on stream at the end of 2024. The financing will come from cash flow and via conventional project financing. Copper production is then expected to be 100 million pounds per year from EVA alone. CapEx is now 836 million Australian dollars with an after-tax IRR of 35%. Assumed long-term copper price of $3.39 and gold price of $1,598 per ounce. C1 operating costs are a comfortable $1.53 per pound of copper. 
EVAS after tax net present value, the NPV at 8% discount rate is now 622 million US dollars, a 42% increase from the May 2020 feasibility study. The main driver of the increase in value is higher metal prices, offset by a stronger Australian dollar and higher capital costs. Copper Mountain will grow massively as a result and the stock is very cheap. We set a price target of at least 6 to 8 Canadian dollars by 2024. Maple Gold Mines completed a board deal deal flow through private placement of 13 million common shares of the company. This was issued at a price of 54 Canadian cents per flow through share for gross proceeds of over 7 million Canadian dollars, including 3.72 million flow through shares issued in connection with the exercise in full of the underwriters options. The offering was supported by both new investors and existing shareholders, including Agnico Eagle Mines Limited. And a strong demand, as said, resulted in Cross proceeds of plus 2 million Canadian dollars because all was exercised. As a result, Maple Gold Mines is on fire for the 2022 drilling season. This stock should definitely be on your radar. Please note the disclaimer that is superimposed. All shares may be or become part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland and Merry Christmas.